Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Let's Play. Today we're continuing Wasteland 3, and I'm doing so with Irem Draconis. Hello. So, as said before, we are continuing to the downtown of the Springs. I'm sure we get a lot to do here, so let's pick this up. Like marshals, do you work for the patriarch? We're the Rangers. We work for We're anyone who needs our help. help. He's going to be executed, and they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please. Maybe Watkins will listen to you. He's a good boy. Uh, let's see what we got for options here. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't care. What happened? Why was your son sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded oh, up. He, he won't tell me. He won't tell me. He's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. Well, maybe he got caught like Pee Wee Herman. If you talk to him, maybe he'll <laughs> tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll learn more from talking to her son. Please, help my son! No regret! Dorsey's no repentance! The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. I guess that happens when you're about to be executed. Yeah. And you get in trouble with the marshals. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> People here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me, doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I talk to her first. Hmm. I just oh, highlight it, my dude. <laughs> I wish I could believe it at work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I, I don't guess have so. any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work if you'll have me. Why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the punishment fits the crime. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Hmm. All right, let's go talk to the what judge or pastor, or whatever they call him. Nice talking to you. This isn't Judge Dredd. No, Magistrate. <laughs> it's not Judge Dredd. The store man looks out with the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. Oh, he's a sadist. His sallow skin <laughs> pulls tight over his face, and his thin lips press together in a hard Hi, line. Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I've heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convent. Excellent. Austin Peace said he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? His crimes are still severe. He was part you gonna kiss my sister. I like that episode of Ed and Eddie. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case. 
and I might show lenience. Well, I can't kiss his ass for four. <laughs> Uh, paying for damages, he's not a bad kid, kill him, and might as well kill her. Let's just talk about something else. Yeah, pay for damages, because <laughs> I don't have anything else. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. Yes, a life for a That's window. the price in mm -hmm. Colorado dollars. Two hundred dollops? Sure. Sure. Here you go. Give me the boy. He takes the money, writes a receipt for you, and jots a note in a battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back into his this robes. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears Best. good news from you. Let's just not inform him. Let's just let him think the entire day that he's going to be hung up naked to freeze in the cold. <laughs> just kidding. Forward to what comes next. Keep looking forward. Oh, I'm just kidding. We talk to the magistrate. He says he'll release you, but you'll be working what? for us now. Are you serious? You really saved my life, and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. No mercy on your souls, Colorado. Yeah, quiet as you freeze your willy off. Anyway. Mm -hmm. extra, extra what else is over here? Oh, that was the interest thing. I don't see anything else. Let's go up this way. Martha, why else would I even keep a shotgun around if then I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorsey. I think these guys are in trouble. They won't be concerned. Oh, really? Dorsey peckerheads, get on <laughs> out of there. The old man is shouting to the nearby shop and waving a shotgun shot around. Josiah, you can't go in there alone. They'll kill ya! You think can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your shouldn't life! Shouldn't be, uh, that hard to do, though. <laughs> when she notices you, an expression of relief crosses Will her you face. help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed! Oh, so I see what it is. Your husband is a wimp. Alright. Why don't you ask the marshals for help? Nah, we're professionals. You want some help killing Dorsey's? We're Someone in. With some spine. I do it all myself. Professional ass. You're new in town. Kicker. You need to show your medal. <laughs> Josiah, don't you do this. Let these people handle it. They've had plenty of experience by the look of them. Ignoring his wife, he raises a shotgun. A a actually, we'll handle this ourselves. You stay the fuck here. Old man from killing himself, will you? <laughs> killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? <laughs> he shakes his head, then turns to you. Get a nice discount at the shop. Come on, man. Do your wife. By the time it's all over. You probably won't. I plan on throwing plenty of Maltovs. <laughs> all right. Open the door here. Shit, Heartlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! I done told you! Don't come any closer! Hmm. Oh, I could do kiss ass, but I ain't kissing no Dorsey ass. Only good Dorsey is a dead Dorsey. Oh. Let's see. Just gonna shoot him from here. There we go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Surprised he didn't take more shots. I do not know what just happened. She's like frozen there, you see that? Yeah. Alright, Marshall Bond, I forgot what he's got. Oh. I know that's weird. Rifle. Watch, you can shoot your own people. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's out of range. I'll just stay ambush for the times three damage. Nice. <laughs> Excessive violence? Oh, I'm joking. Why, yes. Why, oh, yes. I do like to use a machine gun. <laughs> Moving on. What do I got? Scrap. Bullets and scrap. More scrap. Medical crate. More ammo. Injury crate. There's a safe there, but I don't have that level 4. What do I even have? Some 30 I only have lost so that's two. what we got. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Do you want dollops? I got dollops. Yeah, no problem. You should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. He gestures down the road to the north. Token of our appreciation. Ah, fifty-six dollars. Well. Yeah, I guess so. What else we got? Oh, dead corpse. This man died from a slashed throat, but the killer didn't stop there. Ooh. Hey. Oh, here we go. Look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on him. He glances up Those from looting the corpses. Colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. So you've chosen death. Death. Ow. Wow, what'd she do? Give you a paper cut? <laughs> yeah, really well. Flanking the target. Oh, that's what we're calling I... that? <laughs> yeah. Stand out in the open. Well, I'll move two feet to this. There we go. Are you kidding me? He was 10 feet in front of you. My dude. What was that? Like a... Like a 67% chance to hit? I think it was like 55 actually, but still, I mean... Mm. I like those odds. I just shoot this guy dead. Oh, you shot your own character. She's fine. Your turn. Artyom, do your job. You've been engaging. <laughs> well, at least my shot wasn't bad as hers. They suck. Thirty-five and twenty-five. I'm gonna have to move up closer. On three, but I don't think I have anything, right? Abilities and items. Yeah, I don't have anything. I'll hold it, but I'll have her run up and punch the girl in front of you. The one on the left or the one on the right? The right. 
Lucky mega crit. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then Marshall Quan will probably go to the box over here behind you for three. And then shoot this guy. Oh, come on. She's got like two health bars. No, boo. Nice. Okay, that's like no damage. It's because I have a ton of armor. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna increase my character's strength. Nice. Nice. Alright. Let me loot here. Uh, pistols, scout armor, more pistols, med pack, and a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Wait, can they do that? I don't see why not. Get this stuff up here. I don't All got explosives, right, um, what about you? I'm not sure. Actually, I didn't look at the menu yet to clean some of this up. So that's a good idea. Alright, oh. nice. All right. Alright, so we're going to have to find here? someone with explosives. Um, we can go to the dock. He said he's over northbound, I think. Okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, you don't have ex What's the explosives for that? One. Any of us have it? No. We'll have to wait. Doc's down here. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? Talk more when you come back. How oh, do you have to get that stuff? Yeah. I think there's boxes over there, though. Oh yeah, drug stash. I got it. We've got everything the doc asked for. We should head back. You should have it too. We share the inventory. Yeah. What now? I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. Real quick. Oh no problem. Yeah, you can talk to him. There you go. What do you need? Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the stopping me. Injury kit. Equip. <laughs> Didn't count on the ground stopping me. <laughs> My leg. He just yeeted himself. Yeah. Still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Alright, you can talk to the doc now. What now? I think I helped them all out. Um, we've done everything we can for the patients. They should all pull through. Thank you. One sec. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. See this girl. She was shot. No, nope, I leveled up. There's no exit wound. Nice. I think me too. Bullets still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine, but I mean... I want you to stop being a doctor and strictly juggle now. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Dr. Parker. Saved her life. And my the gun I get my stuff together. Barter lock picking. Of course. Yeah, I think we yeah. need some medical attention. I wasn't gonna waste anything because I figured he would help. Good luck. Nice, there we go, free heal. Alright, um I think we need to go now that we're done with him, we need to go check out the main area with the sheriffs. Okay. I believe that is If you get one explosive, you could help her out. Is that this building? Oh, wait, we gotta level up first. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for... More of the sniper stuff, so I'm gonna go for coordination. It's two for that, and then I'll do leadership. And then perks. In addition to tactical value, marking an enemy for your squad to focus fire on is good. Mean fun. I think I'll do that. Nice, pretty solid. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure... Oh no, it's this building right here. So we need to go around and down. And then down one. here. It's behind where we saved that kid. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Well, hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you ruffians? Here? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Yeah, ruffians. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... We're badass I am rangers. Under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. Oh, I really? Must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them, and when? Probably don't. I mean, we're the badass ones. These guys just like to sit in here. Well, there's an Arizona Ranger. Marshall seems a bit overwhelmed at the moment. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. I guess. I guess. Okay. Right, calm down. Calm down. Um. We're at the Arizona Rangers. We could help you. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. <laughs> if you're we were robbers robber. or bandits, everyone in this room would be dead, no. just to let you know. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Little Daisy, loser. I will not leave until you we speak to me. Right. Suit yourself. The sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of bad I got a lock pick of four, and I ain't one to turn away a badass. Especially at a time like this. See, she gets it. We're badasses. And you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Oops. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. And the survivors are holding What's up in the here? Of the gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, Ooh. I lost a lot of marshals. A flamen My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. Oh, reward. Ranger HQ, Brick Warden, <laughs> yeah. Merc Armor, Merc Helmet, Merc yeah, Leggings. Speak, Bro, there's an interesting weapon in here. You should come look at it. Hostages, right, boss? Kwan, Just one second, run up through the conversation. Liaison now. Mm -hmm. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? 
Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, well, yeah, we can bring up that Lucia chick in the beginning part. You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a you have a maxed out party, though, right? Yapping at me too. Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. No, because I have uh, Marshall Kwan. You can take one NPC with you, too. I'm going to insist oh, okay. on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Oh, hell yeah. That's our job. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy dokey. told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Okay. Very confident. <sighs> Sheriff Daisy said you knew one end of a gun from the other, is that true? <laughs> She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. Dude, I literally have almost every point in Sniper. I, I want to test that theory. Ever killed anybody? That's a typical question. I... No. But I have hunted. Oh, you got a lot of them. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna press too much on it. All right, let's go. Noise, 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 noise. Oh, hold on, I'm missing somebody. Ah, oh, she's right there. Oh, okay. I don't know why the shoot. Let's get to that area we have to go to. Up this way? Yeah, watch out for the explosive. Does she have explosives? No. Alright. Unshaven and Sullivanly. Marshal Lipinski shifts up his unlit, half-smoked cigar to the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much well, as I'd to show you. <laughs> tryhards. Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski... I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. <laughs> okay. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. Okay, I guess she does have some pull. Look at him apologizing already. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it out at uh, that, that, right there. <laughs> oh, rude. Yeah, nope. In this town. So get no out of the town. Whoever <laughs> just came up from the city comes is, is Bellamy Ward. I, there are Dorseys all over the garden. I pin down on a high ledge. Can, can you reach me? Okay. Uh, no promises, but we're planning to kill every door so you find. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands up! 
Oh, that was quick as hell. Run, Bellamy yeah. Ward. But we won't find him until the next video. Leave you on a cliffhanger. Thank you for joining me and Aram Draconis, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate it as always. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.